The idea of a loop to bypass a downtown becoming more snarled with traffic first arose at the start of the 1930s, but it took the specter of World War II to bring about the actual first steps. The defense loop was designed to allow troop movements in order to protect the ship channel and vital industry sites around Houston. Harris County voters overwhelmingly approved construction bonds seven months before Pearl Harbor. A year later, the North Loop was designated to be a state highway called Loop 137. Real movement, however, on building a true circular freeway didn't happen until the mid-1950s, and it was not without its controversy. Residents in Bel Air protested the routing that would cut a swath four houses wide through the middle of their community. And in 1954, Houston City Council balked at a slight shift north of Westheimer that, despite saving almost half a million dollars, would reroute the West Loop so that it would be fronted on both sides by land owned by R.E. Bob Smith, a major backer of Mayor Roy Hoffines. Construction moved forward over the next two decades. Houston's first four-level interchange at the Loop in the Southwest Freeway opened in 1962, and 11 years later, the 610 bridge over the ship channel was finally ready for traffic. It would be 1975 before the last sections of freeway completed Interstate 610, giving diehard interloopers a reason for being.